Good morning, Michelle Saxman here, and ready to share with you some time with Jesus Calling by Sarah Young on June the 26th. Guys, this is the brain train. This is, is it going to be the ego that runs? Is that going to be the conductor of the day? Or is it going to be our creator and savior, our heavenly father, the Holy Spirit? Because it says, stay calmly conscious. And that is kind of like at this inner core, knowing that we are tethered to peace, joy, and love, regardless of the external circumstances, there can be a calmness about us. And I've mentioned before about how many times in the Bible, it's um, on a boat and on the water is where the storms are, and that we are then placed firmly on a foundation, solid ground. And we can bring that firmness, that um, kind of that leveled, I don't know, balance. I kind of feel like it's a buoy on the top of the water. We can always be kind of calm, still, even though we are in motion, because the day is going to require us to be in motion. But he says we can have this calm consciousness kind of just tethered like a kite on a string tethered to our creator and savior. So that is a peace for me. That is certainly a peace for me. Um, not allowing circumstances to overwhelm as long as you look to me. And that is um, Peter on the boat when he says, when Jesus calls him out. And as long as his eyes are on Jesus, he is walking on the water. And as soon as he takes his eyes off of Jesus, he begins to sink. So collaborating with our Heavenly Father is going to bring blessings that far outweigh any of our troubles. So the readings for today, the first one is Psalm chapter 23, verses 1 through 4. The Lord is my shepherd, I shall not want. He makes me to lie down in green pastures. He leads me beside the still waters. He restores my soul. He leads me in the paths of righteousness for his namesake. Yea, though I walk through the valley of the shadow of death, I will fear no evil, for you are with me. Your rod and your staff, they comfort me. So what will we lean on today? What will be our rod and staff? What will be kind of that stability as we walk through the journey of this day? And you guys, I'm just going to ask you, who's going to be the conductor of this day? And I'm going to try to surrender myself to the hands of my potter and allow him to bring me that peace and that calm. His presence contains joy regardless of the circumstances. Then the second is that, I'm sorry, 2 Corinthians chapter 4, verses 16 and 17. Therefore, we do not lose heart, though outwardly we are wasting away, yet inwardly we are being renewed day by day. For our light and our momentary troubles are achieving for us an eternal glory that far outweighs them all. I think the most important takeaway for me in that one is, therefore, we do not lose heart. That is coming to our Heavenly Father with hope and trust and positive expectations. Regardless of how things are unfolding around us, our ability to come to peace, come to Jesus. Peace be with you. Lord be with you. The final reading is Psalm chapter 28, verse 7. The Lord is my strength and my shield. My heart trusts in him and I am helped. My heart leaps for joy and I will give thanks to him in song. Um, and that takes me back to in Ephesians, uh, how to dress, put on the armor of God and putting on the shields and the helmets and all the external things that create a reflection and a barrier from the culture into the kingdom because he is within each and every one of us. So the Lord is my strength, truly my strength, and he is my shield. He will protect me from whatever the external circumstance is. He is my source of joy, love, and peace. Y'all have a super blessed day. Stay connected to the vine, and I will talk to you soon. Bye-bye.